Adobe just released the next step in their Firefly AI project. Firefly by itself is already incredible, but they just combined it into the latest Photoshop beta, and it's mind-blowing. To do this, you first need to be subscribed to Adobe Cloud, and then download and install the new Photoshop beta. Start by opening the Creative Cloud app on your computer. Next, choose Apps on the top, and then inside of here, select Beta Apps on the left menu. At the top, you're going to see Photoshop Beta. Click Install on the right to install the latest beta. Once it's finished installing, open the new app. Remember, since it still is in beta, some functions may not work exactly perfect, but so far I haven't heard anything that bad. We'll start checking out some of the new features with the image I have here of a street at night. Let's mess around with the street lines here. Select the lasso tool from the toolbar, and then select the white lines. From the new generative menu that appears, select Generative Fill, and then agree to any terms if you're asked. Next, you type in what you want Adobe to do. I'll type in Remove White Lines, and then hit Generate. And just like that, it deleted the white lines. You might have to mess around with this a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It also gives you three variations, so you can click the arrows down here to see what else it generates. When it gives you something that you really like and it did a good job, you can hit the thumbs up, and if it doesn't, you can hit thumbs down. This is gonna help out during the beta stage. Now let's take it a step even further. Let's select the center of the street here, and then in the pop-up, I'll type add yellow street lines. Hit generate, and then check this out. It may need a bit of adjusting, but this shows you what this tool is gonna be capable of. Let's take a look at another image I have. Here I have a dark sky filled with stars that I took one night but there's no moon. Let's add one. I'll lasso here and then type add moon and hit generate. Again, super impressive and with some more tweaks, we can get this to look really good. Maybe I don't want that though and instead I want northern lights. I can undo or I can see the generated objects in the layer box here. I can delete it from here or just turn it off. Now I'll select the sky, type add northern lights and then hit generate. That's pretty cool, but I want this image to be even wider. I'll go ahead and change my canvas size dimensions. Then with the magic wand, I'll select both the empty sides and then choose generative fill. Leave the description blank and then hit generate. And just like that, I have a wider shot with a few different variations that I can choose from. Couple tweaks and this image is gonna be perfect. This is just the beginning of what Adobe is working on with Photoshop and Firefly AI, and I can't wait to see what's next. And that's how you get the new generative AI tool inside of Photoshop Beta.